Hello everybody, welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlemagne's adventure in Seven Days to Die. So here we are in the final moments before morning. Make sure you grab your drinks and your tasty treats and yeah, you come and follow along. So today I'm going to kind of quickly do a bunch of gardening in the garden. That will be step number one I think. You plant all these stuff into there and then I'm going to harvest a whole bunch of wood you make a whole bunch more wood spikes I'm going to try and have three layers of wood spikes all the way around I think that would be more beneficial not to mention on the day 14 horde I'm going to you probably place a regular spike in front of the door so that way then they'll have to kind of stand on that or destroy that before they can get in type of thing so but I'm hoping that with the extra rows of spikes that we won't really need that. So, is there anything in here that I can do in the final moments? I have empty chests here because I do plan on organizing all my loot, which is in these two chests here. We got meat, we got some food here, some drink. Uh, let's see, do I have some golden rod? I do have 10 golden rods. See, chrysanthemum, we have 10 chrysanthemum seeds. So I'm going to make this thing probably like a 10 by 10, um, the plot of land. I have an idea where I want to put it, so it's not a big deal. Let's take a quick peek in here. Just kind of quickly scanning to see what stuff. we got a lot of trees that we need to plant. That's good. At least we won't run out of trees. So it looks like we got some stuff here. Yeah. So I don't know, folks. So I will meet you kind of wherever I'm going to put this plot. Perfect. So this is kind of where I want the plot. I want it to be right here. This is kind of my spot for it. And I just want to see how we can do this. So let's see. Let's, I think we can just go like this. This should be the the path of the... I'm not even counting this to tell you the truth. Oh boy. Uh, let's see here. So let's do 10 uh, golden rod and go from there. So it looks like we need to do it like this. Yeah, it's kind of you deforming the land, as you can notice, but now there's not really any need for kind of hiding as to where... Oh, looks like I put fertilizer down. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Guess we have a couple random plots in the middle fertilized. Let's see here. I don't want to fertilize. I want to make sure that this is all figured out. Uh, let's see here. It's going to make a big random square plot basically. Let's kind of smash these up. Oh, looks like we have to repair that. That's interesting. Some damaged goods there. Weird. Okay. So I might have some dirt on me. So I'm going to run back inside here. I'm going to grab some dirt and then I'm going to hoe out that, th that spot. Okay, so here is our plot. I'm going to plant the goldenrod first, right on the corner. I think we're like, let's see, come on. Is this how it goes? So why is it doing that? So weird. So the collision is kind of funny. One. Huh. Two. Weird. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, weird. Weird, weird, weird. Okay, I'm going to have to kind of add more to this because it's just not fitting. Interesting. It's, just, it's interesting how it deforms the land still, but it doesn't. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. And this isn't really fitting on as I expect it to, actually. It's kind of doing a funny pattern, but oh well. So I'm going to carry on here, and it's basically just me continuing on, you know, creating this plot of dirt to grow some stuff for me so yeah so I'll be right back once this is all done here we go here is our plot of land all nice so we have our crops growing here so now I'm gonna go around and I'm going to collect some 
some wood because we need to be making these wood spikes for protection all the way around our base and so you know how that goes right it's just me running around smashing on some trees here hopefully we won't get attacked by anything earlier in the day i had a dog horde that came by but that was kind of around 2 or 3 a.m of course that wasn't on footage but it happened while i was in the base and so the spikes you took care of it so that was interesting to to notice just that fact uh, let's see here is there anything interesting can i loot this oh there's ran into a wonderful here we go here's another garbage ran into wonderful cactus down there on the ground which are so annoying they do a lot of damage uh, let's see here it looks like that's a bunch of clay some wood there's a yucca fruit there's lots of yucca fruit so yeah so i'm just gonna carry on and i'll be back when there's something interesting or when i start placing the spikes here we are back at our wonderful warm base so i'm going to so this is my looting trip from going around so do i need the pistol book we do awesome i found this in the garbage so we're going to read that now we can assemble pistols which is awesome let's go into here i'm just going to drop off all this loot and then yeah i should have waited until i was ready so i'll be right back okay here we are so i do have some scrap iron to throw into the spikes but you know how that goes it's not much at all i might have to actually take it out of the the forge because it uses up a lot of materials like look at that it uses a lot but just those few spikes used up all my iron so yeah you're gonna need a ton ton of iron so anyways so this is the next best thing gonna create two rows of these bad boys probably three rows I do want to create barbed wire because I know that stuff works like a charm but I don't know I don't know if I really want to deal with that so I'm gonna you pound on this grass here and you, you know how it goes I'm gonna place spikes all around my base here so that way then we can kind of have some more defenses so I'm just going to kind of hit this grass all the way around and then I'll place another layer of spikes. Which I'll probably need to make more spikes anyways. Because they just take a lot of resources. A lot of resources, man. Like for 10 spikes, it's a thousand. It's all, a lot of tree chopping for that. So yeah, so I will see you here in a bit. Come on. Um. Oh, come on. He's just over the hill. Let's see if we can sneak up on it. Or is it gone? Oh, no, it's not. We don't need to. It's right here. <laughs> that was a good shot. So I'm going to go back to my base after I chop this up. And then I think we're going to look at how to make a cement mixer. Because that's kind of like the next step. I've been kind of thinking about what needs to happen with with our base. And basically be upgrading it to concrete, right? Would be the next kind of logical step. Which means that we need a cement mixer, I believe, for all that stuff. So where was I coming to? I was coming to these rocks here. I was going to smash up these rocks over here before I got distracted by that stag. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to smash these up and then I'll meet you back at the base. So we're going to take a look at the cement mixer now. See what we need and go from there. So we need forged iron, four springs. Ooh, I might actually be able to make this. We should have ten mechanical parts. We should have springs somewhere here. We need an engine need springs oh maybe we can do it maybe we can do it so apparently you don't need these in here if you're gonna sit in the workbench so let's see so if we go cement mixer ooh, look at this man looks like we have enough and so I'm going to make it gonna go BAM gonna craft it it's gonna take 2 minutes and 23 seconds so what happens if we leave that so is it gonna count down still 
217, 217. So let's kind of pretend we're doing stuff here, blah, blah, blah. Let's turn this on. Let's go forged iron. Let's make 100 of this stuff because we need it. Now let's see, 217. Oh, it looks like it, it kind of counts down, but not really. I'm not too sure how to really... Yeah, I'm not too sure. So, yeah, so I'm going to make that. We're going to make some forged iron here to replace what we used. And we're going to have to, of course, put some clay back into this because it's what we need to do. Uh, let's throw this stuff in here because we can smelt it later. Let's throw this stuff back into here. Oh, that's so exciting. It's so exciting that we get to make this. So I'll be right back once this is complete. Here we go, here we go. Bam! Okay. So we got the cement mixer now, which is amazing. So now I'm going to put it right here, I think. This seems like a good spot as any. I could have placed it right here, but I want that little gap there. I think it'll be good to put right in here. Now this is where we can make everything else. We can make concrete mix. Oh boy, so we're going to need a lot of stuff. We're going to have to start smelting stones, which means that we're going to need our our basement project kind of happening. So let's see, where is that wrench? So basically the plan that I have is to, of course, start building a mine. And this is kind of where the mine's going to happen from. It's right here, and this is where I want it to go down and into the ground so basically this is where the entrance is going to be for this i'm gonna well this door is here so that's good so we can definitely use that and basically yeah this is what i'll be doing here on some of the nights because we need to dig downwards all right and yeah I basically get to as far down as possible if we look on our map it tells you your elevation we're at minus 18 so we're actually already pretty low, which is kind of nice. And yeah, it's now it's just a matter of, of getting a little bit lower and trying to navigate this stuff here. Bam. And then we basically will place these wood frames like so. And then, of course, we are going to upgrade those wood frames with our claw hammer like that and then we're also going to put a ladder up um, so I might jump down there and do some work who knows and but now we have the cement mixtures so now we can make concrete yay I'm kind of excited for that so yeah so that's it for this episode folks I think that's about it so thank you everybody for watching in the next episode we are going to this is day 13 we'll probably do a little a little loot run that seems like a reasonable idea, and then we'll get ready for the day 14 horde. Hopefully we'll make some cement, we'll do some harvesting of some stone and stuff, and go from there. So yeah, so thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.